So, Mr. Garcia, you have stuff to say about uh, Miss, Mrs. Hammer. This article um, slash fundraising email from uh, Marion Hammer is odd. It's very odd, the way it's worded, the way it's structured. Now, I have no doubts she wrote this based off of seeing a lot of the emails she sent out. It seems a lot like her writing style. So I have no doubts that she actually wrote this, didn't have it approved by anybody. Nobody looked at it, posted it right up, and sent it through the email. There's an individual attack here against David Delaquila. I've seen the NRA do individual attacks against um, people who were attempting to take advantage of gun rights in one way or another to, uh, you know, to pass gun laws or whatever, right? Now, yeah, I've Pelosi's seen that. and Soros right. and Blue Burns, yeah. Right. Um, Obama, all that. Like, I've seen plenty of attacks there. This is the first time I've seen, uh, that I personally have seen a personal attack on anyone else, and to use it as a fundraising email, like Rob just said, is interesting. It's weird. So, we're going to go into this a little bit. Are David Delaquila's gun rights worth 100000 So, she says 100000 100000000 million. She's talking right in the beginning paragraph about a whole bunch of money. She's talking about donating right off the bat. Now, she's setting the stage here. This email, more than anything else, is a donation email. So, you can see right off the bat, she's saying donate, 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 money, 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 trying to get it in your head. Then down here it says, and yes, NRA just moved its fall meeting from Anchorage, Alaska to Washington, D.C. to cost of around 100000 Again, she puts a big number in your head. It makes it seem like 20 bucks is a small number in comparison. She's using a little bit of persuasion, persuasive tactics here to try to get you to donate. Now, we've already talked about why the reason they moved is complete and utter BS. We already know that. In the next paragraph here, they talk about uh, the gun control hearings that have been scheduled on Capitol Hill. They try; uh, She tries to spin it a little bit, like we've already talked. And then we come down again. David Delaquila's gun rights are worth whatever NRA has to spend to protect his gun rights, because his gun rights are the same as yours and mine. So again, they're going after D David Delaquila here. And then she drops the first of three times the donate link to the NRA. Now, why are the donate links in here like this? Why is this a donation email? Why is this going out? Why is she pushing this so hard? The reason being, right now, this time of year, your hunting season start up. This is the time of year when they start to get those annual donations coming back in. So this is the time of year when they really start to see the money flow. And now David Delaquila donated $100,000. A lot of money. A lot of money. Over a couple of years. That's a big chunk of change. Ain't nothing. Compared to a million annual donors, though, it's nothing. Not even a drop in the bucket, man. It's like a quarter of a drop. So those annual donations are what they want. Now, I have heard about multiple recruiters saying their numbers are way down. Their numbers are 40 to 60% of what they've been in the past. They're hurting bad this is the time of year when they need that money and they are not getting those annual memberships coming back in. That could be one reason why we're seeing a donation email and why she's stepping to such a level here to personally attack David Delaquila. I, does she think it's going to raise more? I don't know. It says here, I just went to the NRA's donation page and made my donation. No, you didn't, Marion. Stop lying. To protect David Delaquila's gun rights, yours and mine. I invite you to do the same thing. Give as much as you can. Donate link again. Then it goes down here. Now, this is the weird paragraph. This is the weird one and the one I wanted to point out. The NRA needs your help to save our gun rights. Nobody else can do what NRA does. Does anybody really think any of the dissidents, I think that means us, we're a dissident, um, or their leaders, which would be me, uh, get a call from the president of the United States? Do you really think any of them talks to the president, the vice president, or our leaders of the U.S. Congress? Okay. The answer is no, and I'll tell you why. It's because I don't represent 5 million people. Wayne does not get a call because he's Wayne LaPierre. Wayne gets a call because he leads the NRA, which has 5 million members. That's why he gets a call, not because he's Wayne LaPierre. Get that right out of your head, Marion. Okay, now here, this last sentence, this is weird. Absolutely not. They can't even hold Wayne LaPierre's coat. Okay, now let's talk about that. Can't even hold Wayne LaPierre's coat. That is a weird, almost religious devotion to this guy. I wouldn't say that about anybody I know, okay? So I've got I've got role models that I try to pattern my life off of. People who've done awesome stuff. People like Jocko Willink, David Goggins. Those two guys are awesome. Um, people like Stefan Molyneux, Jordan Peterson, my father, 
there's five people I try to pattern parts of their personality and parts of my life after because I respect things they've done. I, and I say that to tell you there are five people I respect a lot. I would never say about those people that, oh, you can't even hold their coat. The devotion, the weird religious-like, cult-like devotion in that sentence is just bizarre. And it shows what's going on inside of that organization. It shows that Wayne has turned himself, we've seen this before, he has turned himself into a cult of personality. These people believe that he is some sort of deity. And that's what I get out of that sentence, that he is some sort of freaking deity. And uh, I can't believe that sentence is in there. She did, she did not think this through. Was she drunk when she wrote this? I don't know. Did she drink? So Jameson says, uh, we can all hold his coat. We paid for it. You're darn right, Jameson. I'm... 274000 I think, believe it was, $1,000 uh, in suits. Yeah. Uh, it's almost as if Marion Hammer is blind to the reality that money is being just wasted. Absolutely wasted. And so, and yet she wants us to donate. Oh my goodness gracious. It's just so frustrating. Okay. Now we'll look here at the next paragraph. It's time to stop the lies, stop the attacks, stop manufacturing fake documents. Where was their fake documents? As far as I know, this, the stuff that came out about spending was all real. Nobody from the NRA ever argued that it wasn't real. In fact, I think they, they confirmed it was real. So I don't think that ever happened. Uh, stop the lies, stop the attacks. Okay. Stop cutting off your nose to spite your face. I like that, Marion. She says, okay, let's focus and donate again. And there at the bottom, she says, once again, Hey, David, you may have abandoned us, but nonetheless, we still got your back. We're donating to the fight. Uh, a couple of things that I noticed here. If you click on those links, the link is HTTPS, you know, blah, 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 donate.nra.org slash donate. Mm -hmm. If you click that link, it does not take you to the ILA page. You can donate to the Institute for Legislative Action, the, N the NRA Institute for Legislative Action, which this is posted on. That link doesn't go there. It goes yeah. back to the NRA. It does so, go to the NRA. So It's called the General Fund. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, the General Fund. Thank you. So... Now, now we're, we're posting on Iowa to donate to the general fund, but we have loans from Iowa to run the general fund. Not granted, guys, I'm a, a redneck from Arkansas, but this does not make sense to me. 